want to do a DIY project while my husband's at work. Come on. I'm Jenny with Roots Wings Furniture and today I'm gonna do something I've never done before. So I thought I would take you along. We're gonna paint the tile um, in my bathtub surround and my husband really doesn't know that I'm gonna do this. So let's just see how it works, huh? Um, I'm gonna use a product called Slick Stick. It is from Dixie Belle and it is a primer that allows you to paint really glossy, hard to paint surfaces. So um, step one of this whole process is obviously to clean the tile. Nothing crazy, I just used white lightning. Um, sprayed it down to give it a nice clean to get any soap or anything um, that you can't see off the tile. I did tape off the areas that I don't want to get paint on. Uh, I have a feeling this could be a little messy. Um, so I did paint, uh, tape off the bathtub and the wall. Um, and then we're going to apply the slick stick as our primer over this tile, give ourselves a good surface to paint, um, and then do some stenciling on the tile just to give it the updated look um, to kind of help the bathtub come out of the 80s, uh, see if we can't do something a little fun with it. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, here is Slick Stick. So it is, it's just a white primer. It's kind of thick and a little smelly. Um, and we are just gonna brush it on. We are going to use a couple coats of this. So the instructions say to apply this, let it dry two to three hours and then give it a second coat. So this is going to be um, a two day project until we are ready to paint. I'm going to get this first coat on and show you how to do it. I'll recoat it after it's dry um, and then we'll do the fun stenciling and painting tomorrow. So that's how this is going to work. I think you could use a roller with this, um, but the brush is nice because it's getting in all the little grout grout lines here. Um, it's going on pretty easy. It's actually, it's smelly in the can, but I'm not, it's not terrible as I'm applying it here. Now this tile is all in good shape. It's all, you know, well stuck to the wall. There's no cracks or anything like that. I just want to change the way that it looks. Um, it's a nice thin coat. You can still see the design underneath the primer, but that's fine. Cause like I say, it's going to get another coat of primer and then I'm actually going to paint the tile black and it's going to have like an off white design on it. So this will all cover one way or another here. I feel like that goes on pretty easily and there's no, it's not super drippy or sticky or anything like that. Um, so let's keep going see what happens. Okay, it's day two of the bathroom tile makeover. So yesterday we did two coats of slick stick. I showed you how to do it. I let it dry for two to three hours and came back and did a second coat. 
Um, it is definitely very clearly primer. It's not completely an, an opaque coverage, but it does make a really flat finish, which is what we want. We want something for the paint to really stick to. So that worked well. It was a little stinky, but not too, too bad. So today we're gonna give it the base coat of paint and I'm gonna use Midnight Sky. It's really super dark gray, almost black, which is what I want on the base. And then the stencil, when I do the stencil on there, we'll lighten it back up. So we're just gonna give it a coat of paint um, and let it dry really well before we stencil it. Yeah, this is really pretty. So again, super dark gray, almost black. I want something a little dramatic. I'm just using a Dixie Belle mini brush to paint this on. I think you could use any brush, whatever your preference is, your favorite one. You could use a roller for this if you wanted to make it go quicker, but the brush gets in all of the grout lines, so you'd have to go back and brush it anyway. So I'm just gonna use this brush. I do really like this color. It's really pretty, nice and dark, without being so stark and black. And since we are painting over the white primer, uh, it is going to take two coats of this color to get a nice solid coverage. this dry. Um, it, it won't take long. It's already starting to dry since we're inside. Give it half an hour. Go back through with a second coat just so it's a nice opaque color. Um, and then I will be back for the stenciling and it is going to be so pretty. So I'll see you in just a minute. For a full supply list of everything you will need to create this awesome finish, check out the description below this video. Also, subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss a thing. Click the button below.